So in this video, we are going to uh, generate some stepping numbers between given the two range. But before that, we should understand what is the stepping number. So any adjacent digit, if they have difference of one, I can say these are the stepping numbers. So if you see that if you number have the 123, so if you see the adjacent difference, difference between 1 and 2, you will say difference is 1. And here 2, 3 also difference is 1. So I can say this is the stepping number. But if you see here 2 and 3 and 5 difference is 2. So I will say this is not the stepping number. And if you see here 5, 4, 3, 2. So difference 5, 4 is the 1. 4, 3 difference is 1. And 3, 2 difference is 1. So I can say 5,432 is a stepping number. If you see here difference between 9 to 9 is 0. So I can say this is not the stepping number. It's, try to check this number. 9, 8 difference is 1. 8, 7 difference is 1. 7, 6 difference is 1. So I can say this is the stepping number. So this is, these are the stepping number. And question is that you have to generate the stepping number between given A and B. So just let us understand one more time. If, so if you have given the range between from 1 to 50, what are the different stepping number? So all the single digit is by default is the stepping number because they don't have any adjacent number. But if you see the 10, so if you see the 10, their difference is the 1. So this is the stepping number. And everyone we cannot say stepping number because the difference of the two adjacent is the 0. So this is not the stepping number. 12 is the stepping number, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 is a, 20 is also not the stepping number because difference is the 2. 21 is the stepping number, 23 stepping number, 32. So these are the stepping numbers between 1 to 50. So we see that how we can generate the stepping numbers, right? So we have the some logic, uh, it's very easy logic, let me explain you how we can generate that. So. We will start from the 1, if any uh, digit is 1, so how we can go that. Or suppose you have the digit is the 2, let me start from the 2. So after 2, what is the stepping numbers? Of course, 2, 21 and 23 is the stepping number. How we are calculating is simple logic. If you want to generate the next stepping number starting with the 2, what you will do? Take the 2 as it is and the next number make the 2 minus 1 and next number 2 plus 1. So let me again explain. This 2 is the as it is I am keeping it here. Because adjacent is the only the two number, right? And the left and the right, right? So for the two, starting with the two, what are the different stepping number? So you keep as a two, two, and the two minus one is one, two plus one, three. So starting with the two, our stepping number would be the 21 and the 23. Let me check with the three, how it is there. Again, keep the 3 as it is and then 3 minus 1, 2, this is the 3 minus 1 and 3 plus 1, 4. So starting with the 3, we have the 2 uh, stepping number 32 and 35. Again, if you say the suppose the 8, keep the 8 as it is. 8 minus 1, 7, 8 plus 1, 9. So this is the 8 minus 1 and this is the 8 plus 1. Let me check with the 1 now. Keep the 1 as it is and then 1 minus 1 that is 0 and 1 plus 1 is the 2, right? 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is the 1 plus 1. So starting with the 1, you have the 2 stepping number, 10 and the 12, right? So now if you again further, 
if the number is the 21 what are the stepping number starting with the 21 do the same logic here also keep the 21 as it is here and what is the last digit last digit is 0 so 0 minus 1 last digit is 1 so 1 minus 1 0 and last digit is 1 here so 1 plus 1 so one number will be the 210 and the 212 if you see all these are the stepping numbers right the same way if you want to go forward here now we can do the first 2 3 2 3 and this 3 3 minus 1 2 3 plus 1 4 so this is the 3 minus 1 and the 3 plus 1 so these are the stepping number but now we have the two corner case let me tell you if you make it here if your last digit is 0 so how you can do that first put the 10 10 here now last digit is 0 0 minus 1 it is coming minus 1 right and that could not be a stepping number so in the case of 0 we have to only make the one part next part if you consider this is the previous part and this is the next part so in the case of 0 in case of 0 we have to find out on the next number not the previous number and the one case is for the 9 also let me tell you how if this is 89 of course how you will do 89 89 so 9 minus 1 8 I can do that 9 plus 1 10 I will not do that. So, in the case of 9, in case of 9, and this is your previous number and this is your next number. So, in case of 9, only find out previous number. So, these are the two cases, one for the 9 and one for the 0. So, that we have to handle in the code now. Now you can see how we are doing that right. So if you see whatever the operation we did here, same operation we are doing here and if you go the little bit further also suppose 210 I have to find out next number. So again 210, 210 right, 0 minus 1 it is not possible so I will not consider 0 plus 1 this is 1 right. So again if you go further here next number. 234, 234, 4 minus 1, 3, 4 plus 1 is the 5. So, whatever the operation we are doing, we are doing on the each and every step, we are doing the same operation, right? And that's why we can do this code through the recursion. Depth first search, we use that. So, if you give the one number, make the previous and of course we are considering this is the previous and this is the next or you can say the left right anything you can see that left right and then again once you do the operation for the two you will find out the previous and next again you call the recursion method passing with this right but only in the case if your last digit is equal to zero you have to only pass the you have to only pass the next in the case of 0 and in the case of the 9 you have to only pass the previous. Another thing is that how we are doing that if you see the logic how you got it. So the simple logic is that suppose if your num was 2 how you got this number how you got this number so that logic let me explain here. So suppose if your number was 2. Or for the understanding purpose, let me just suppose if you want to find out this uh, 23. If your number is 23, what you have to do? First, you find out the last digit of this number. And how you can get the last digit? Num mod by 10. Right? This is the, we know, if you take the, if you want to take the last digit, how you can take, we have to do the mod. So, M will be have the 3. Right? Now, from 23 what I have to what I have to get we have to get the 232 and the 234 right. So what you will do 
number would be the your next num it, your previous number if you consider the previous if you consider the next so your previous number would be num into 10 means 23 plus m minus 1 m is 3 minus 1 2 so your number become the 232 and the next number num into 10 plus m plus 1 so 232 plus 3 3 1 plus 4 so this is the 4 so if we get this number so this is the logic we will apply throughout the code but one catch is there if your last digit if your last digit is not 0 means your last digit is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right then in that case you have to use the this one means you are not doing the minus one right in the case of the g in the case of the zero if it is not the zero then you have to use these things so for this condition you have to put if not zero then do this and here if not nine then do this how this code will work if your last digit is m then check what is happening if this condition is follow yes this condition is follow we will have the previous also and if this condition is follow yes we have the next also so in the case of the one the both number with both uh, code will be executed if the case of the eight everything except the zero and nine this both line will be executed if m is zero suppose so this condition will be not applicable this condition will be applicable and it will execute this if m is equal to 9 then this part will be executed right so this is the whole concept is that and let me see in the code how it is working so first and foremost what you have to do you have to take one array list that we capture all the integer of all the stepping numbers right and i will give the any name you can give any name i used to give the return as rvt so new array list right this one and you know we have to generate the stepping number starting from a so all the stepping number start from a all the stepping number start from 2 and till 9 so that's why we have to make one array that is stepping number from 1 to 9 right and here i will call one that method recursion method you can give any name i'm going to give the dfs because it's uh, match with the dfs uh, methodology and in that method what you have to pass you have to pass a and b a b means this is the range given all the stepping numbers should be between the a and b right so you have to pass in the a and b and this is our stepping number and all the stepping numbers should be stored in the array list so i need these four things and then we have to return this array list but as you know this is the tree structure so you will not get all the stepping number in sorted order so if you want to make the sorted order so you have to just call this uh, sort methods that's it now let me write the uh, our recursion methods dfs and whatever you have to pass you have to of course each and every time you have to pass these three meters between this number should be there and this is my stepping number and of course i need the array list that we store all this number right so first and foremost what is the exit criteria from the uh, recursion so if any time if your number going to beyond the higher limit you have to stop this and also you have to check that number always should be greater than equal to the lower limit and that number should not be more than the upper limit always less than equal should be that limit right if this is the case so you can save this your limit the stepping number in the array list right okay so now we got it now we have the num and we have to generate the left and right or the previous in or the next number so what you will do first we take the last digit so num and take the last digit right after last digit we have to make the left side right side we have given the previous or next so previous is equal to we have to multiply this number by 10 and as we discussed that it will be the m minus 1 last digit minus 1 right and we have to 
नेक्स्ट नंबर हाउ यू बी गेट द नेक्स्ट नंबर नम इन टू टेन एंड ऑफकोर्स एम प्लस वन राइट वंस यू गेट द previous then again this previous number should go to the dfs for the recursion function so we will call the dfs here and this time again you call the ab and this time our number is the previous number and of course the array list and in this case dfs we have to pass the ab remitter and this time our the right side number is the next and this one return right but the previous part should not work for the geo right this is the one corner condition so it should not work if your last digit is the zero so if this is last digit is not zero then only you have to take the previous one right so and this zero is the for the nine means if your number should not equal to nine then only you should take the next one right so this is the complete code actually if you see what i have done that i make one uh, for loop that we generate the number starting with the 1 2 3 4 2 9 and once you get the widget i have sorted it so this is my recursive method i am passing the a b is the remitter we have to generate the number between a and the b number is the stepping number and we have store all the stepping number in this array list so this is the termination condition this is the accepting conditions for the stepping and this is the logic we will generate the next table of the stepping number let me check this code this working fine let me generate the number from uh, 1 to 50 So these are the number from one to fifty. If you want to generate from one to thousand, right? So you can check this. These are the stepping number. If you check, take any ex stepping number, you can see that this is the difference is the one. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comment box. And this is your uh, final code. Uh, what I am showing here. This is the final code. Okay. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.